In this quick video, I'm going to review my Camelback Rogue uh, hydration pack. And I want to just give you the pros and cons that I've experienced with it, as well as a couple things that I've learned about how to use it correctly that weren't immediately obvious. But first I'll show you kind of some of the features of it and just how it works in general, just an overview. So first of all, you have this back pocket here, which is pretty, pretty nice. Pretty, you know, you can, here's two of my hands. You can fit both my fists into that just to give you an idea of the size. This backpack I think is rated at five liters, which I think is referring to the, how much water you can actually fit into it. Anyway, though, in this small uh, pack here, you do have this little, uh, thing here for your keys. Honestly, I've been too lazy to use it and I just throw my keys in there. But that's pretty handy. Um, behind that, so you have this this here, you can put small things in. But then actually behind it you have another pocket right here, which I actually use quite a lot. And it's a bit stretchy, just a little bit, not totally. Um, and has some kind of, I guess, stretchy, let me see if I can zoom in, stretchy kind of fabric right there which is pretty nice uh, for kind of jamming a bunch of stuff in there. I'll try the same same thing as I did before. Put my arms in there, give you an idea. You know, the size maybe. I've had like a bike pump, spare tires, different things like that in here. I guess I should also mention what I use this for uh, before going on. I use it for both running and cycling. So I've used it uh, just a couple days ago. Uh, I did a run. Actually, it was a bike ride and a run. I, I rode my bike to the to the run, uh, so I could put my keys in here. Plus, I got I had water, plus my wallet, a couple other items. And then when I locked my bike up, I was able to just run with everything on my back except for my helmet. Uh, but anyway, going going in more into the features, it does have this little hook here. I don't know what that would be for exactly, but maybe for something. Uh, then you have the main, the biggest opening. And this is actually for the water bladder. Um, the opening itself isn't super large. There's like two hands in it. Um, but what it does have is one of the thing that I haven't used too much is this in, in another pocket inside here. And that one, yeah, it's not, it's not too deep. It's like only, you know, maybe that deep or so. So it's not a big one. Maybe it's for your wallet or something like that. Honestly, I've just been sticking mine back here though, but maybe if you're uh, worried about security, you know where you are, that might be a better place to put your wallet. So other than that, it's just the uh, the bladder is in here. Um, we'll go ahead and take that out and I'll show you how that looks and how that works. Now with the bladder, there is this uh, little T piece right there. And this is, this is here to keep the bladder up. If you didn't have that, it would probably just slide down. So it's real easy to, um, to get out of there. You just uh, pull these off like that. And then then you also want to pull the hose, it goes through here. You want to pull the hose out like that. This is your drinking hose, of course, if you didn't know. And I do like how this how this one works. It's like a, a, a nice, soft, kind of rubbery material. And you bite down on it, which opens it and allows you to uh, suck the water out of it. And it also has a shutoff valve right here which I've never really needed to use. I just have, I've just been leaving mine open all the time. But if you want to shut off here, then, then it won't allow any water to come out. Anyhow, once you have that pulled out of that little passage, you can pull the whole bladder out. Now, like I said, I just used mine the other day and I've been too lazy to actually, uh, actually uh, put it away. Oh, maybe I was wrong about the volume because here it says two liters. So maybe this one's only two liters. Um, I think I said five earlier. So you can fill it up to however much you want. Half a liter, uh, one liter, 1.5 or two liters. Uh, one thing I really like about it though is that it has this handle and that's so nice for filling your, your bladder. You just go like that, put it under your sink, water goes in, no problem. So I had one before, a much cheaper one. I got like 10 bucks somewhere and it didn't have this and it was always such a, a mess trying to get the water in but that really makes it easier. I never had any issues with leaking or the seal, anything like that. I think I got it on right. Yeah. yeah. As you can see, it doesn't leak or anything. If you get, as long as you get that threaded right, I'm sure if you don't get it threaded right, then you will have a leak. But um, yeah, it's it's really worked perfectly. Now, uh, what I do, obviously, I don't like to leave water in when I'm not using it. I'm sure that could be a health hazard. So 
What I'll usually do, which I'm gonna do right after this video, is just pour out as much water as possible. And then I will put some paper towels inside and then have it kind of where it's lifted open and set the whole bladder out in the sun. Of course, squeeze this to get it all out of the hose as well. In addition, you can pop the hose off here, which I've done before. You just, uh, actually I don't remember how, oh, okay, yeah, you just press down here, I think, and it pulls out. I did that once, maybe I'll do it again. Anyway, you want to get it 100% dry though when you store it because you don't want like any mold or anything weird like that to be accumulating but anyway I just leave it with some a few paper towels that I just stick in like that that absorbs some of the the moisture and whatnot and also leave it open so and of course the cap open so that the sun and the air get in and after several hours it's usually totally dry so maybe I'll come back again with a paper towel to, to get the last bit the other thing I forgot to mention is about cleaning and I'm sure there's like good ways you can clean it but actually all I've done and you do want to clean it because uh, you know you sweat on it and stuff so it gets it gets uh, Pretty stinky, I guess. I mean, so you just want to, all I've done is just hose it down like this. I've never actually soaked it. I just hose it down, get it totally wet like that. I don't know if you can actually put this in the washer or uh, clothes, clothes washer, washer <laughs> and dryer. I'm not sure if it's made for that. Um, I wouldn't do it. I think that might damage it. So I just just do like that, hose it down, and let it sun dry on a sunny day. The back has has this kind of foam right there, which is, you know, it's nice, whatever, and it kind of says air support, but honestly, my back always gets super sweaty wearing this as well as any backpack. That's not special to this one. I can also talk a little bit about, about uh, the strap here. One thing I was kind of worried about with it, and it's not maybe the best, is it is kind of thin. And when I wear it, I kind of, sometimes it can kind of bunch up like that. Kind of can feel like it's cutting in a little bit. It's not as hefty and nice and thick as you might, as you might want, maybe. I mean, it's a light duty backpack, but maybe they could have made that a little bit more hefty, a little more padded, maybe a little wider, something like that. But anyway, it does work and I haven't, haven't had any major issues with it. Of course, it just goes on your back like that. It has an adjustable top, what I call top strap, which is right here. This is a pretty uh, dainty piece. I, I've had like other ones and other backpacks that have a much more substantial clip. This one's pretty small, as you can see. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a little uh, two centimeter thick thing. Uh, down here, unfortunately, you don't have a, a secondary clip, and I think that would be something they could improve on. Uh, I, w I wouldn't mind having a secondary clip down towards your waist to kind of keep this whole thing more secure, because I will say when I'm running, it, it does kind of kind of uh, sh shake around, especially towards the bottom, especially with water in it. Um, that's one thing I would probably like is another clip towards the bottom. I think maybe some of their bigger models do. This is a pretty small one. It, it is, of course, adjustable down here with your, your uh, lower part of your back straps. So you can adjust them easily and have some rubber bands so you can fold away the extra. Um, of course, it has a, a carrying handle, which is comes in handy a lot. Uh, okay, anyway, let's go ahead and put the bladder back in and I'll show you a couple things with that. When you go to put your bladder in, you just, obviously, you just stick it in there like that. And then kind of let it fall a bit. And then you need to use these, uh, this little nylon strap to make sure that it doesn't, um, doesn't sink down all the way. So you just put that on like that, very easy. Okay. Now the bladder's in there nice and secure. And here's a couple things that I learned that maybe they were obvious to other people, but they weren't obvious to me. Uh, so first of all, I wasn't really sure, should you know, should I route this through this side or this side? And, and it does actually, I think, matter kind of because um, I tried it first this side, I believe. It was this side I tried the first time, which would have been my left. So I routed it through here. And then I thought, this is the the front of the backpack now, you know, where your, your chest would be here. I thought the idea was to loop this across. And it, you know, actually, you know what I, I was thinking? I didn't see this hook. That's the thing, this hook right here. And I was thinking that you just have it hanging or maybe you run it through, through this or maybe you put it underneath. But ultimately when you're running and all that shaking, none of that works good. I had a lot of trouble with that. What I found worked the best, and maybe there's multiple ways you can do this stuff, is routing it on your right-hand side actually like that through through the through the sleeve and then using this little hook 
and just hooking it in right like that or if you want like that that actually to me works the best I'll go ahead and put this on and show you what it looks like um, with me wearing it like that okay so I hope I'm fully visible in the frame but uh, here's the backpack of course and I have the the water tube attached but usually it's not attached initially usually it's floating around like that but anyway you just throw it on your back like a normal backpack all right then you grab your your clip clip it like that and so then the water hose is just kind of flapping around but you have this here you can connect it in like that and it just kind of you know stays like that so you're running no problem you can pick it up drink let it back down so that's how I've been using it and yeah it's been working really well I have one more tip I want to show you though now, I'm not going to take this out completely but the last tip I want to show is you know I guess I can take it out completely because I'm going to be emptying it anyway there we go so uh, the last tip is around sloshing. So you might have heard it on my back a minute ago when I was kind of pretend running. It was sloshing around a lot, and it does. And it actually gets pretty annoying hearing it just constantly sloshing. Uh, I, this wasn't me that discovered this. I found somebody posted this or showed this somewhere. But the best thing you can do to reduce sloshing, it doesn't totally remove it, but it greatly reduces it, is you fill up your uh, bladder like this. And, of course, you'll have a little bit of air in it naturally. So what you do then is actually turn it upside down. Once you now you do this over your sink, of course, you squeeze your um, your opening, and then squeeze the, the the bladder and get all that air out of it until water starts squirting out of there. So basically, you'll have no air in here, and when you have no air, you get a lot less sloshing noises, and uh, it's a lot nicer that way. So that's pretty much it about this um, this Rogue Camelback Rogue backpack. I guess overall, I should tell you, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, a couple. Maybe, maybe in the future I would get one that uh, maybe is slightly bigger, has a, a, a lower cross strap too, to make it more secure. I don't think this is really a dedicated running backpack. It's probably more, more in line for cycling um, and just general hiking, but uh, it does work for running as well as hiking, as cycling. I'm going to keep using it. I really like it. Maybe I'll get a, a better one one day, but uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. If, you, if you're interested in getting it, I'll try to leave a link to it, uh, Amazon affiliate link down in, in the description somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching the video. See you guys next time. Bye.